We're pleased to be joined by Chef Jack, uh, Jack Kane, Culinary Chair at Miami Culinary Institute, and Chef Peter Fred, the Executive Chef at Tuyo. Tuyo is a wonderful restaurant that is uh, mostly operated by, by the students there at the Culinary Institute. Uh, they're right on 2nd Avenue in Miami, 415 Northeast 2nd Avenue. And uh, they're open for lunch and for dinner. A great deal in town, too, and wonderful food. And wasn't it named one of the best views in the It was. Yeah. It was indeed, yeah. Freedom Towers right there all lit up. So you got a gorgeous view. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. The, the basketball stadium all the way to South Beach. Oh, one right. of the most beautiful views in America for a restaurant. Coming in. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's see that? Nice. Again, it's called Tuyo. Um, now, the chef yeah. has made... The, yes, yeah, and we, wait, are we ever going to... Yes, we're, we're going to try, try this. This is uh, couscous. Uh, with uh, with basically kind of a salad on top. Right, right. Got tomatoes it's really and, couscous salad, right? essentially, yeah. And, and a wonderful uh, striped bass. It's just absolutely a gorgeous dish. Uh, Brenda has brought forks. She's brought knives because she's hungry. I and uh, if you don't put and that yes. down so I can eat it, I'm going to stab you. Try. And there's also a, a, a the, the sausage you see underneath is made of spinach and shallots. You're right. right. Shallots, garlic, okay, I, spinach, I, want, garlic. I want to get a little bit of everything. Now, on this there. would be something that would be on your menu for lunch at two. Lunch, correct. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but you talk about a healthy dish, too. Mm -hmm. Something that wouldn't be, you know, overly filling to you, but filling enough to be able to get you through the day. Right. And wow. And healthy as can possibly be. That is wonderful. Thank you. The fish is done perfectly, seasoned perfectly. Oh, man. I that love, I love the pureed spinach and then the crunch. You know, with with the couscous. Right. Um, mm, that's really delicious. Thanks. You gotta get the two you now. I'm telling you, this is wonderful. <laughs> Tell us about the next dish you're uh, making. So the next dish is going to be a scallops and pork belly dish. Right. Uh, we cook the scallops uh, just in a pan and saute pan. The short, uh, sorry, the pork belly is braised ahead of time, and we pick it up in a uh, short rib jus. Uh, what is in that jus? Because so it looks it's, it's fabulous. It's essentially just um, the same jus that we would use for our short rib in, during dinner. Wow. Um, or for events right now. Um, and then we add That's a like touch of pomegranate. That's like you need to put up some bread and yes. top it all up. <laughs> it's definitely there, worth it. Um, is it an unusual uh, combination of scallops? No, and scallops and pork belly is very classic. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's very uh, nice. one of those things that's just always been a great combination to, great to eat together. together. Yeah, right. Yeah. Got it. All right, so what do you do with those scallops? So I uh, just pan sear the scallops. Now, is this a dish that might be on the dinner menu? Um, Potentially, yeah, uh, which we're working on to come out in the beginning of March. So things are kind of still, you know, in the works. So brand new moment. menus you're working on. Right, right. Development phase. Okay. Um, boy, they, they sound great. And you know what this is going to pair well beautifully with, because we'll have a little bit left over, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Bruce Owers from 2480 is here. Yeah. He's got this great Chardonnay. This is the... F the new release. This is, well, the worldwide release of this is going to be tasted on our air. Right. Uh, this is the 2000 and... 16. 16. Okay. And we'll try that. And he's got his cab, too. 2040 cab is one of the best uh, in the country as well. And this is 2014 from Hollywood and Vine Cellars. We'll try those in just a minute with these, too. Yeah. And alive. I know. Is it hard to, to, to know when to stop cooking a scallop to make sure you don't overcook it? Um, it can be. Uh, for me, I mean, I've done it so long. Right. I, I tend to like mine a little bit on the medium side. You do by sight? Uh, by sight and by feel. I by mean, feel. you can kind of tell they're very squishy to begin with. So right. when they start to get a little bit more firm, obviously they're cooking a little bit, you know, more right. towards the well side. Unusual. I mean, when you say a classic combination of pork belly and and, and scallops, that, that, to, to, to me that's an unusual combination. Yeah. But, but people have been doing this for a long time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've done it at a few places now that, yeah, they, you know, always pork belly scallops is just right. that, that thing. To go to. Well, now we get we get to experience. Right, it. Yeah. and pork belly has become very popular in the country, hasn't it? I don't know if it always oh, yeah. was. Yeah, right. But over I don't the past remember it being, and then it just hit, and like everybody had a pork belly dish. You right, know? everybody's <laughs> got pork belly. I mean, from tacos to you name it, they do it with pork belly. I'm sure the price of pork belly has gone up quite a bit. Uh, but <laughs> it always does. All you have to do is make it popular, and pork belly goes up. That's oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Well, the scallops absolutely look great. Thank you. Uh, what's next, and, Chef? And, and what is that sauce? Uh, so this is a parsley puree, uh, oh. which we cook oh, down wow. with some onions, garlic, uh, some fresh herbs. So we use some bay leaf, some thyme, and um, some, a little touch of rosemary in there as well, just to kind of help bring the two together. That sounds marvelous. Is, is there a concern about overwhelming the scallops? No? Um, you can. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely, because it's so delicate in flavor right, and in right. texture. Um, but, you know, we try and keep the, the flavors very kind of mellow in a sense when let things kind of speak for themselves on the right, plate. Right, right. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. All right, how do you plate this thing now? I mean, <laughs> so uh, I just like to oh, yeah. put 
put a touch of scallops. There we go. Sorry. Again, it's Tuyo, Northeast uh, 2nd Avenue in Miami, and it's the um, it's the Miami Culinary Institute, and the chef, uh, chef Peter Fred and, and Jack Keane is the culinary chair. About 330 students, and they predominantly run this restaurant. Yeah. Over for lunch and dinner, as I said, uh, uh, lunch Monday through Friday, 11.30 to 1.30, and then dinner Tuesday through Saturday from 6 to, to 10 p.m., uh, but a great deal too. I mean, I mean the, the and students, since they're going to be since they're going to be observed at all times, right? They want every single dish to be oh, of the course. best ever. So, uh, do you find that you uh, do you do you have different uh, student chefs that are you know at the top of the food chain and it switches out periodically, making today's lunch or tomorrow's lunch? Um, you know, it always kind of changes. Uh, everybody kind of has their own style and right. doing everything. So. I wouldn't say that there's a certain star per se or anything, but everybody has ideas. You know, they all have jobs outside of the school as well, so you know they bring those ideas in with them and things that they might have seen on TV or anything like that. Nice. You know, very, bring it right up to you and nice. You know, we talk so about it then. So. so what we're trying to do is we want to have the students have an experience of working with a chef that has very high standards. Right. So they come and they work for someone like him, um, and then when they go in the industry, they can. They're prepared. Things. Because it's not, you know, it's it's not the uh, the like I said, it's not the it's a difficult profession. And you have a lot of demanding chefs yes. because they have to. I mean, if if you're going to own a restaurant, you better be demanding because mm -hmm. it's such a competitive oh, uh, yes. field and industry. Right. You better be the best. Absolutely. That looks absolutely it delicious. Doesn't it? <laughs> Why don't you dig into it first? All right, absolutely. I'll do that. Nice and nice all. Enjoy. So it's the pork belly right. with the scallops from right. Tuyo with a parsnip puree underneath. And what is the uh, the little uh, 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 Accoutrement you Mic put with. Microgreens or what? Yeah, um, just some microgreens and uh, some fresh mm. sorrel. Sorrel. Interesting. That's marvelous. Oh. Absolutely marvelous. So I we mean, have the pomegranate to kind of cut the fattiness of the pork belly, and that mm -hmm. kind of helps, yeah. you know. And the odd juice well. just is perfect with it. And you're right, it does not overwhelm the scallop. I'm guessing I'm going to try that now, but I, I mm. can tell. That I wish you all could taste this. And you know, you can. Go to Tuyo. Yeah, it's T-U-Y-O, just in case you're wondering how to spell it. Uh, Tuyo, again, 415 Northeast 2nd Avenue. Wow. It's the Miami uh, Culinary Institute uh, at uh, Miami Dade College. And it's a bistro, open for lunch and for dinner. They have wine. Do you have cocktails? Just wine, right? Uh, now. They have cocktails as well. They do. Yes, absolutely. they got everything going. They got it all going there. So, uh, so head there for lunch or for dinner because. And you're supporting a culinary program you are. and a school, a great school, right? And um, it's just all good yeah, stuff. Yeah, you're, you're you're supporting Miami Dade College and the Miami Culinary Institute, which right. is a large part of our community. They've been there for eight years now. It continues to grow. And as you can tell, they brought the right people in to yeah. teach these students and to cook this wonderful food. <laughs> so, in fact, Bruce Oros is our next guest with 2480 Wines. He said, oh, I've been to Tuyo. That's a great place. <laughs> so, and he eats, like, you know, out every single day, I think, this man, at all the top restaurants in South Florida. Thanks, guys. We enjoyed Thank it. Thank you so we'll much. we back with Bruce wonderful. Oros, 2480 Wines, Chardonnay, and a wonderful cab right after this. And eat this, drink that. Go. go.